the pioneer urban Aboriginal artist, the late Lynn Onis, a Yorta Yorta man, exemplified in his person and in his practice those important uh, issues for contemporary Australia, issues of multiculturalism and issues of reconciliation between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people. This fine work from the mid-1990s, um, the high point of his career in many ways, exemplifies the multiple strands of his identity and of his practice. It is um, very closely related to works which depict the Barmer Forest region, which as a Yorta Yorta man is his, his Bugaja, his, uh, his home country on the Murray River. And we can see that there are Murray River perch um, swimming through the water there. But the Murray River perch are inscribed with uh, Arnhem Land rock, uh, and this shows us um, owners engaging with other Indigenous people from um, the north of Australia. There's further northern Australian reference in the um, water and the colour of the, um, uh, the pebbles underneath, which relates very much to the, um, uh, the Kimberley landscape and the water holes which he had visited there. It also relates to continental Europe. Uh, the artist had been represented at the Arco Art Fair in Madrid and that bright colour of street life and fashion um, of the Spanish capital is reflected also in these um, smarty bright um, spotted colours in the background. There's even uh, an Asian context in the uh, Eurasian figure of the model and in the uh, reference to um, uh, the good numbers of uh, feng shui we have uh, eight of the Murray perch. In its complex uh, arrangement of surfaces, the way that the reflections uh, run down from the top like uh, water running down a shower screen, the, uh, the depths uh, that are invisible or visible. Uh, this picture shows us the, uh, the richness and the complexity and the layering of contemporary Australian culture.